This video just revises a few key terms in the equation of a line. Now a quick reminder, when you're given an equation, like so, the number before the x or the coefficient of x is called the gradient, and the number which we plus or minus is called the y intercept. This means that for every one across the line goes, it goes up by 3, and this value tells us where the line hits the y-axis. Now, if you are asked to write down an equation of a line parallel to y equals 3x plus 2, then all we need is another line with the same gradient. So any line of the form 3x plus anything else is always parallel. So here's an example of another parallel line. Here's a, another one, and here's a, another one. These are all parallel because they all have the same gradient. They could extend it and ask for one which is parallel, which passes through the coordinate 0, 11. And this is just asking for the special one, which is of the form y equals 3x, to make it parallel, but with a y-intercept of 11. Now, another word which you can also meet is perpendicular. Now, perpendicular just means at right angles. And there's a very simple way to find the new gradient of a perpendicular line. And it uses the word reciprocal. Now, if we know the original gradient is 3, then to find a perpendicular gradient, i.e. at right angles, we do 1 over the original gradient and change the sign. And this will make two lines which cross perfectly at right angles. So an example of a line perpendicular might be, for example, y equals minus a third x plus any number you want, so plus 8 or another one. Both of these two lines will be perpendicular to that one there. Now I just want to finish off with one other idea. Sometimes in a question they give you an equation which looks a bit different. And they might say to you, what is the gradient and y-intercept of this particular line? Now this is not of the form y equals, and it needs a small rearrangement. However, if we divide all the terms by 5, that 5 there cancels out. So y equals 3 over 5x plus 4 over 5, which means that the gradient of this line is over 5, and the y-intercept is 4 over 5. And I will just finish by saying that whereas a gradient of 3 meant a cross 1, up 3, a cross 1, up 3, 3 fifths means a cross 5, up 3, a cross 5, up 3. The number underneath is always how far across the line goes. The number above is always how far up the line goes. And the y-intercept, as a reminder, is just where the line happens to intersect the y-axis.